Hi guys, welcome to JDMAstar.com. My name is Jose Cornejo, and today we're going to talk about mechanical flasher relays, how to identify them, and how to locate them. First off, a flasher relay, it's a unit that controls the turn signals. It actually can send the power to turn on the application and activate them, and it's what basically controls the rate of flashing. So, how do you identify your, your flasher relay unit? To do that, it's real simple. First off, you want to go into your car, and you want to go ahead and activate the ignition, the accessory lights, and this will basically activate all the accessories on the vehicle, and you want to turn on one of the turn signals. Upon doing so, you'll notice the indicator on your instrument panel light, but at the same time, you'll hear a clicking sound. The clicking sound is the mechanical flasher relay that's making the turn signal activate. So you have to look for that sound. Now, we already have knowledge and experience and can easily identify it, but in your case, you basically want to know where the source of the sound is coming from. So, in this case, it took us under the instrument panel, and we were actually able to identify which of the relays is the one we're working with. So, I'm going to try my best here to help you identify it. So, you want to hear the clicking sound. Off the bat, we can tell you that the flasher relay that needs to be replaced is this one. I can feel it clicking, but this is it right here. So, how do you know if it is that one, just off the sound? To do it is easily, you basically want to go back to your accessory keys, turn the accessory lights off, and then you basically want to remove the flasher. Now, if you don't remove the, the keys and, and, and turn off the accessory lights, it could cause a short if you remove the flasher while it's happening. So, <coughs> you want to make sure it's off. So, we're going to pull this guy, maybe a little bit stiff. So, there it is. So, we have removed the flasher relay. <coughs> now, we're going to go to the instrument panel. You want to enter the key, turn the ignition. Turn the lights on and activate the turn signal. If we remove the correct one, the turn signal should not activate. So, let's do it. Alrighty, the left turn signal is activated. And we're not noticing any indicators on here, and nor is there a clicking sound. So, it looks like we hit it right on the money. We remove the right flasher relay. And this is the flasher relay unit. So this is a mechanical flasher relay unit. You can replace this unit with an electronic version, which will work with the low power draw of an LED bulb to cancel issues like hyper flashing that is common when upgrading with your turn signals. Now, looking at the flasher relay unit, I can tell you that it's a Denzo brand and it operates off of 12 volts. Um, something like this usually operates anywhere from 30 to I believe it's uh, 100 uh, watts or, or so. It really depends on the flash relay units, but this is uh, an OEM part. Alrighty guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more weekly videos on tips and tricks when upgrading to LED.